Welcome back to Mitford Pottery. So we will start off, this is a trimming video. We have, if I can get them all in shot, got our planters which we have thrown in our recent videos. We are going to trim them. Hello, you all right? We will adjust our camera and we will zoom out a wee bit. So a little bit of a top down view again. So these are what we've been thrown. They are just about nice and I need our little stump. So we're going to use the dreaded Giffen grip. Get it in the middle. Give it a check. And see, I don't know what it is with this. It never seems to be in the middle. We're getting attacked by seagulls by the sounds of it. The dreaded seagulls! <laughs> now I am, if I can remember where the button is. I trim these the other way, so <clears throat> not a lot to trim on these. Knock the edge off, smooth that base off. And that's it. And what we will use to start with is our Simon Leach trimming tool available from Simon Leach. Good tools, multi purpose. So we'll start. I see I'll do the first one and then we'll speed up the rest. So we're literally just going to round that corner off. Should be relatively quick to do these. And then we're just going to smooth this base. And that should be it for these. Like the saw. A bit, uh, a bit rough there. Sounds like I've got a lot of seagulls on my roof tonight. So all I'm doing is uh, <clears throat> just getting rid of the wire marks really off this. So we want it nice and smooth. Actually I want to go the other way I think for a little while. It. It's all we gotta do. Oh, and we have dented that a bit. <clears throat> Why is my rounders? We'll get a tub, will that fit in? Uh, not enough. Not enough. So we've got to round this edge off. And I have a great thing actually. It's a bit noisy, but 
them to create. You used to get kids toys in them, so it's a, it's a, it's a nice a spherical shape. So that will round our pot off again nicely. There you go. That's that. And then, in the middle, uh, we'll use the bigger one, I think. We'll hold the inside, and on the middle, we'll press our stamp in. So we get our maker's mark on there. And that's it, one done. I say we'll speed the rest up, so I'll talk to you in a few minutes when we're done. So there's them done. Oh, a little there. Uh, mini agate ware planters. I'm just clean this out. Now, I'll be back in a second. Go and see. Go and see if our chip and dip bowl's ready to trim. I shall be back with the magic of editing in a second. Right, well, we've got it. It's a bit on the wet side. So hopefully. Won't totally collapse because it's quite wet. I'm going to just center it, see if we can center it. Now, I'm going to take it nice and slow, use a bigger lid, and I'm going to change the direction of the wheel, so we're just, literally we're just going to smooth this edge off. Because it's a bit, let's say it's a bit on the wet side, so we've got to be careful. Bit. Nice 
is uh, it's only thing when the clear's a bit on the wet side that tends to stick if you don't shift it out clear. And just gently smooth it, that curve. Rib. Just to make it look nice, that's nice. It's almost. I know what's wrong there. Give it a little angle. this off nice and gentle dry side. No one oh if I stop catching up my fingers. Yeah, I'm clumsy. So clumsy. Let's 
see it's still on the wet side so it's leaving a lot of marks in it so hopefully what I can do put that on there take the grip off as well and then we'll flip it over like so and then get that out of the way and there we have our trimmed chip and dip bowl which looks not too bad there you know We've maintained it quite round, not too many marks on it. Uh, we'll round that, make sure that's round, which is what can. There you go. So back on my bracket to say bye bye. There you go. A bit higher, a bit higher, a bit higher. So thanks for watching. Quick trimming video. Uh, remember, clear is the way. I'll see you in another video very soon. I'm going to leave you with a bit of chip and dip as I duck out of shot. <laughs>